Hey guys, welcome to Screech's Smokehouse Barbecue. I'm Paul, and today I'm going to show you how we do St. Louis spare ribs. Not much butchery required on these guys, they're already trimmed up for you. I do, however, take this guy off. Once the spat renders between these two pieces of meat, this part will slide off on you on the board and you'll have no rub on this piece. So I take that deal off and you need a little stragglers hanging off the edges. Make sure I check that. The bone, sometimes they cut, this like this one right here, they cut this bone at the processing plant, real small. Right here, this little guy. So I always just make sure I go ahead and take that guy out, give it him. You can pull the meat off that. All these trim, all this trim stuff we put in sausage, or our famous 50-50 burgers. This guy's decent down here. We'll cook this just like this, except there's a big controversy on the internet whether to take this membrane off or not. I do it. A lot of people don't. I do. It could be a pain in the butt. But I think it's worth the time. We don't do that many racks of pork ribs around here. That's it. I always come through with my kosher salt first. Give it a good little coating. Not too much, not too little, just enough. My rub has very little salt in it, so I always, I always salt it first. Once you're salted, come back with your the rub of your choice. I use my own rub that I make here. But whatever rub you like, do you. And with a light little coat on the back side. I like to get the edges while I do the back. That way, when I flip it over, you do the front, top. I don't have to uh, worry about messing up my pre presentation side by flipping it around, trying to get the sides. That's it. Here we are at the pit with the St. Louis spare ribs. And we're rocking the pit right around 275. Let's throw these guys on. Each side up. Take your side towards the firebox. Let's bunch them up so they don't. They can, however you lay these guys is how they're gonna cook, right? So everybody says. So straighten them out. Scrunch them up so you get more meat in your bite. That's it. Rock these guys for the next couple hours. Our pork ribs have been on for three hours now. I'm gonna give them a little spin. Let them a little dry, so I'm gonna spritz them just a little bit. Apple cider vinegar, no water. Let's 
Alright, keep on rocking them. Alright, our pork ribs have been on for four hours now. We're gonna give them a little bit of homemade barbecue sauce. Use whatever sauce you like. Bone, bone side up. Double foil. Wrap them up tight. Put them back on for another hour. Okay, so these pork ribs are done. I unwrapped them and uh, put a little more sauce on them. Let them get tacky for about 10, 15 minutes. And they're tender as can be. See, they, when they crack, you know they're good. 203, 204 internal, good to go. sauce on the board. Pro tip, keeps you from shredding the top of the pork ribs. Bone side down, don't be a hero. Alright. Nice and juicy. See the juice? Alright, these are good. Mm. That's good. A little tender, but I love it. Don't forget to ring the bell to be notified of our new videos. Thanks again for watching.